holy pilgrimage. Tales abound of a city sacred to all in this land, and of the holy pilgrimage that must be undertaken by the faithful at least once in their lifetime. Intrigued, you dock at a busy port, major hub for those on this journey. As you wander the streets in the cooling shade of antique rashans, the dust-hemmed white robes and sturdy sandals of the passers-by betray they wear as devout intentions. Snippets of enthusiastic and fervent chatter convince your crew that they must see this holy sight for themselves. You're pursuing an eager trader's wares when a man approaches, ornate weapons latched to his side and back. Marabon, friends, are you here on pilgrimage? Aye, we come far, from very far away to see the holy city. The mark of dread upon us. He eyes you sympathetically. The Wadi is a dangerous place. Rain falls and Badavi brigands abound. Join the caravan, it will be safer. Such a generous offer is hard to decline, and the following dawn finds you clad in the white garb of the devout, joining the steady pace of hundreds of other pilgrims along the long, dry riverbed. Journey is slow but safe, and it is barely noon the next day, and the caravan reaches the outskirts of the holy city and slowly disbands. You look around, uncertain where to head next. Head for the temp sure. Head for the temple to complete your pilgrimage. There's more to being a pilgrim than donning white robes. Your attempts at mingling with the crowd go unheeded at first, and you join the flocks of worshippers that doesn't sound good. Circling around what seems to be a large, intricately gilded black stone cube. The procession is painfully slow, however, and the searing sun soon makes your party thirst. A literal <laughs> searing sun soon, my goodness. One of them spots well in the corner of the esplanade and rushes to it, cupping his hand in the fresh, clear pool. A roar of indignation erupts from the surrounding pilgrims as they lunge at him for tainting the sacred water, sending a ripple of confusion across the crowds. People scatter and stumble, swiftly turning the incident into a stampede. Attempt to push through the gates. No, you don't. Pushing against the stampede um, is um, suicide. You will try to follow the flow of the crowd. Despite its erring press, the flow soon brings you near a secluded alcove. In a powerful surge of determination, some of your burlier sailors forge an ephemeral path through the throng, and your crew stumble into the hollow, pilling on top of each other as they pressure from the crowd suddenly at A cursory glance rain round reveals a low, scalable wall, and you soon find yourself back in the less crowded avenues of the city. Your lack of injury, nothing short of a miracle. Continue. All right. The last glimmer of the holy city is behind you. That was a waste. Where next? Go to the Horn of Enbesa. Onward. <laughs> provide. That's kind of you. Why do I have to provide the rations if we're going to lose 10 health anyway? That's a bit of a waste. Hmm. Well, the islands. What else can we do here? I'd like to get a couple more people, to be honest here. People is always great. 61. Oh, that's great. Two more lines. Schnapps. We're going to need sausages. Of course, we need sausages. So we're going pig farm production, slaughterhouse. So two pig farms and three slaughterhouses. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Pig farms. Where am I supposed to build those? Why not here? And one, two... I mean, we don't need three necessarily now, but before I forget it. Two, three. Oh, great. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and nine. Why not? Oh, we also have green, so we actually could go for silo. I mean, a silo is always great. Honestly, that's more than great. Okay, so at least now we have uh, sausages. We're going to need to upgrade a couple more people. You reached a new milestone. We need grain, flour, bakery. What about our main island? Yeah, there's nothing I can do here, really. Artisans. I mean, that's useless. Can't f we can go for more windows. Why not? Let's go for more glass. Now let's go with the lumberjack hut. Another sand. Oh no, we don't need another sand mine. It's more than sufficient. Second. Let's go with one more window maker. So we have a bit of abundance of glass, which isn't terrible. Maybe we're going to need glass later. This way it will also not be a huge drain on our income. So our glass production looking better now. 17, perfect. We have enough of these people. New Island. All of them are big here. None of these islands is bad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So there are clay deposit islands. Haha. <laughs> so that's extremely important. So right now, I'm a big fan of this island. And I do believe that mineral deposit means we can build whatever we want on that. Which is great. So this is my favorite island. Of oh, it can also be easily defended. I mean, think about this. Ships have to go into your little harbor area and then you can just place all the... Oh my goodness, this can be easily defended. I'm a huge fan of this island so far. Like, oh my goodness. You can destroy everything there. Comparison, this is um, a tragedy. This is a problem. They can come from all, all sides and swarm and kill you. Items. I'm not going to buy anything. First class. Uh, you done done. Do they have any Find items? No. Okay. So you now go and destroy the Doran frigate. Ready the ropes. You go get the seventy tons of bread. Clipper, bring it to him. I'm going to need grain. Where am I going to build that? Hmm. Why not here in this corner? So we're going to need a small warehouse. There's bakery. So we can go with three bakeries per flour mill. Didn't really pay attention to that one last time. This is of course great. One, two, three. I, I mean, we can go with three bakeries for two flour mills. Right now, of course, we just need one flour mill. Build too many right now. One, two, three. Wait, one grain farm for one flour mill? Since when? Huh? Uh, okay. That's interesting. Didn't that, didn't that, how did that change? Yeah, I, this is totally confusing. This doesn't seem right. I'm confident it's ready to go. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, that definitely changed. I don't understand why or how. I guess, okay. I, I don't mind. 
Also, this design is flower mill, but it's the same building, right? Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Financial powerhouse, happiness, right chance, competitor satellite. Okay, okay, we publish. So you two destroy him, please. You bring the bread. That's definitely odd. Hmm. I don't mind. Okay, yeah, we're not going to need another warehouse. To be honest, we even need more wood. Production here is not fast enough, and I don't like it. More of that. More of that. So, what am I going to do here? Nothing really. We don't need to do anything here as well. I mean, we could nitro. Can we do anything with that yet? I don't think so. Yeah, nothing here. We already have that one. Kings grow. Oh, there are pirates here. Of course, there are pirates here. Whoa. Look at this island. 11 minerals. Nitro and grape. This is also easy to defend and bigger even though i kind of like this area here oh wow, that's so much oil darn it red pepper so either red pepper or gray but we have three more deposits here so this is probably um best choice i'm probably going to take this island since this is the area that we're going to need to go to to return to our world so this is great nothing nothing between really and obviously, clay is extremely important. So, Admiral, Admiral. Whoa, what's that? Smoke on the waters. Ship is, uh, ship is stern, Captain. She's gaining on us. It's an attack. A powerful ship. The teens taut with dry wind. Ports gaping with expectant violence swivels out of a new hidden nook past the heavily wooded coast. She's flying a flag of carmine and sable emblazoned with a triumphant sun. Colors unknown to any of the crew. As she deftly weaves in and out of the waves, catching the draft masterfully to close the distance with great speed, a thunderous explosion rocks her port side. Something whistles through the air and plummets into the emerald waters behind your ship. You swing hard to port, breaking line as your gun port creak open hurriedly, and your deckhands take careful aim. Oh dear, nowhere prepared for this. Current equipment expedition nowhere. <laughs> Aim to shatter her hull. A uh, first volley crashes into the enemy's side, then a second as lower gun teams let loose. Fire leaps to claw at the gaping wound in the vessel's flank before its yard sunders, torn into two. Minuscule figures scuttle along its deck, struggling to smother the eager flames before a sudden and mighty explosion sends all those on deck sprawling and scrambling as the ship lists dangerously in the water. A burly man in what me must be officer's attire bellows over the din, his voice heavy with the tang of authority. He appears to be holding a young man at gunpoint. Mercenaries and murderers, trust Katema to stoop to such methods. Silence your guns or your friend here will taste lead. I will pay for the man's release. Let's give him an infinite amount of... Oh my goodness. What about him? You serious? What? Zero? Okay, we can't bribe him. He's unbribable. <laughs> Refuse. Smoke on the waters. Your bribe attempt failed. Possible. We do not care for what you've earned in blood and injustice. There is no price worth sacrificing our freedom. As for him, 
He points to the young man, dressed in fine garb and looking slightly worried. He assures us you are a rescue party sent by the usurper Ketema. Take this message back to your master from us. He nods to nearby gun crew, who hastily swivel the gun's mouth towards your deck. I lied. We are Ketema's wrath. Unhand him or else. The man draws himself up with dignified fury. Wrath? His vengeance, you mean? Too long has he sent his hounds against us to clap the irons of his new empire upon our people. We will have none of it. We bow to no king that is not of the elder blood, least of all common upstart. In a sudden flurry of movement, having sensed the captain's grip loosen, the young prisoner elbows him in the ribs and leaps into the sea before he can be ceased. Shoot the emissary if you must! Splutters the red-faced captain, but when the young man fails to resurface, he realizes his bargaining chip is gone. He orders his guns be turned. They are aiming for your crew. A fire a volley of round shot just above their waterline. Crackerjack! Your gunners slide the heavy 15-inch projectiles into the muzzle of the aftmost cannons, ripping off some of their own shirts to pad the barrel and avoid windage, lest the ball deviate from its trajectory or explode before leaving the cannon. Your crews scramble to cover, then a flare of flame and resounding blast. Splintered wood soars into the air as the round shot tears through ballast, mast, railing and bone. Sparse shots ring out, a foolhardy attempt at retaliation, before a second broadside crashes into the ship's underbelly. As your captain signals to leave these dangerous waters, a scraping, scrambling sound is heard on the port side ladder. Wait for the intruder to show himself. Them himself. Hearing the dry click of rifles cocked and ready to fire, a voice protests from below the railing. Wait, didn't I press on not pointing the guns? Hold fire! I am the man they were holding prisoner. After a moment's silence, a hand appears upon the railing, followed by the lithe figure of the young prisoner, evidently disconcerted by the score of rifles aiming at him. Sorry for dragging you into this unfortunate situation. Those rogues sank my ship and slayed my crew, and I was desperate for any kind of help. As he says this, the crew lower their rifles a little. I fear they wished to praise from me my lord's secrets and plans. When I saw your sails, it seemed my only reprieve, so I told them. Genihoi Ketemar sent you. Who is this Genihoi Ketemar we keep hearing about? Emperor Sali Ketemar is the heir to the throne of Selaumavri, lord of the high and low lands known as Ambesa which you may refer to as the Land of Lions. Under his rule, Enbesa has risen to great height of prosperity and might, as our Emperor has a vision beyond that of his predecessors. A land united and bountiful, a nation to rival the great kings of old. The young man frowns wearily. Alas, they are those who would not see our people united. The haughty princes of Engarap, I refuse to yield to the Emperor, and have resolved to wage war against him by any means and to whatever ends. But why attack you? Of course, pardon my manners, I am Binyam, son of Kyria, emissary of his Imperial Majesty Ketemar. I am on a mission to seek out experts from around the world to assist with the many ambitions my lord has for Enbesa. The Emperor wishes for the name of Enbesa to be sung and admired for its leadness, beauty, prosperity, and wisdom. But let us not tarry here. Come, follow me to Taborim, where my lord will be sure to reward your brave generosity. Set sail for the south, past the pillared reefs with ochre flowers. Cross the marshes, and then you will see it. 
ancient Enbesa, with gold-lit mountains, slumbering lions, and proud people. Okay. <laughs> Just okay. 